Welcome. In this video, we will look at how you can integrate maintenance work orders with SAP S4 HANA Extended Warehouse Management. Until now, there has been no standard integration available to process the PM work order and the reservation in EWM. An SAP consulting solution is now available, increasing the efficiency, integration and visibility across warehouse execution also for maintenance-related logistics. The views, information or opinions expressed are solely those of the individuals involved and not those of the individual's employer, or any other group or individual. Let us look at some of the benefits of integrating PM work orders with EWM. A solution that enables you to manage MRO stock with advanced warehousing capabilities. The solution enables you to pick, pack, stage and deliver the components based on PM work order slash reservation and leverage handheld RF devices and other warehousing equipment. It provides the ability to combine all components of a work order into a package slash kit and manage logistics operations by package. And makes it possible to track and trace PM order components including the returns from maintenance back to the warehouse. We will now look at the two different ways you can integrate into EWM. The first option would be to utilize delivery-based integration. Delivery-based integration would typically be used when the maintenance is done externally, like for the heavy engineering assets you typically find in the mining and energy industries. It supports a full pick-pack stage load and goods issue process. The second option is to benefit from the PMR, production material request used in EWM production integration. It would be the best option, when maintenance is done in-house, typically on production assets in manufacturing plants, for instance in the automotive and consumer goods industries. The pick stage consume flow represents a huge simplification during the consumption of parts, as well as when returning non-used components into the warehouse storage bins. Before we kick off with our two scenarios, let's explain a few more things. For each process step, we will indicate whether the step is part of standard EWM or part of this enhancement. We will also indicate, with a puzzle piece symbol, if enhancements in the interface between system modules have been made. For each step, we will in addition indicate the Fury app in use. First, we will look at the delivery-based scenario. We will take you through every single step from the creation of the maintenance work order, through order release, delivery creation, pick, pack, stage, load and goods issue, and then see how this is reflected in the system with material documents and final update of the work order. The process is initiated by the creation of a PM order, a maintenance work order. Next step is to release the order. In this screen, we can also see the four items contained in the maintenance order. When the order is released, possibly together with several other work orders, the time has come to create the outbound deliveries. The delivery creation report calculates the open quantities for delivery creation. It also gives us the possibility to amend or remove certain items. The requirement date in the PM order is used as delivery date in the outbound delivery. After delivery creation, the outbound deliveries becomes available in EWM, as shown here. We can see our outbound delivery as well as the four items from the work order. We can also see relevant reference documents such as the ERP reservation and the ERP maintenance work order. The appropriate warehouse tasks can be created in a background job or directly in the EWM warehouse monitor. From the warehouse monitor, we can also monitor the work orders before picking starts and all the way to goods issue. In the monitor, work order attributes are shown on both header and item level. Quantity details are shown on item level such as open quantity, requested quantity, picked quantity and more. We move on into the actual picking of the parts. On the first RF screen on the handheld device, the picker, potentially picking multiple orders in one go, are provided with packaging material instructions for each order. On the RF device, the picker is guided and instructed for every pick, into which handling unit, the picked parts are to be placed. After the picking, the RF device instructs us to move the picked parts to the consolidation area. In the warehouse monitor, we can have a look at the different pick handling units, and how the different parts are placed, before consolidation per work order. The repacking at the consolidation step can take place using the same handheld devices. We revisit the warehouse monitor and can see that the pick parts have now been consolidated into one handling unit per work order. In the same monitor, we can also see those handling units are ready to be staged for loading. The warehouse tasks are identifiable by work order. The staging task, bringing the goods from the consolidation area to goods issue area, can also be done using the RF handheld devices. After completion of the staging on the handhelds, the warehouse monitor confirms to us that the handling units are in the goods issue area, ready to be loaded onto waiting trucks. Loading can also be done using handheld devices. We move them here, handling unit by handling unit, from the goods issue area, 
and through the relevant loading door. After completion of the loading, the new position, in the loading dock, is also reflected in the warehouse monitor. After loading the goods issue can be done. In the warehouse monitor, we can see that the goods issue is also reflected here. In the material document list, we can see the relevant postings, with movement type 261. We complete our scenario, with delivery-based work order integration, by updating the reservation and maintenance work order. With the completion of the previous process, we are ready to show you how we, as an alternative, can integrate a work order to EWM, using PMRs, or production material requests. Just like before, we will take you through every single step, from work order creation, through release, triggering of staging, picking, supply area staging and consumption. We create a new work order, this time with only two components. The work order is subsequently released. Orders can be released by supply area. After release, the production material request or PMR becomes visible in the EWM warehouse monitor. We trigger the staging for our work orders. The corresponding warehouse order and pick tasks are visible in the warehouse monitor. We initiate picking with the RF handheld devices. The system provides the picker with a packing proposal. The actual picking of parts is also done on handheld devices. We move the picked goods directly to the predefined staging area or supply area. We can have a look at the executed tasks in the warehouse monitor if we want. The actual consumption during maintenance can also be done utilizing the RF devices. Consumption can be done per work order. Consumption is also reflected in the warehouse monitor. As part of the goods issue, we take a brief look in the material document list and the relevant material documents. We also end this scenario by updating the reservation and the plant maintenance work order. This solution can be implemented if the following minimum requirements are met. SAP ERP 6.0 EP3 or S4 HANA 1610. SAP EWM 9.0 or embedded SAP EWM in S4 HANA 1610. Standard ERP EWM connectivity and outbound process integrated with EWM. We want to give a big thank you to our colleagues, Pavel, Yogesh, Suraj and John for sharing their innovation with us. They are all available for further information. Let us wrap this up by recapping some of the benefits of integrating work orders with EWM. A solution that enables you to manage MRO stock with advanced warehousing capabilities. The solution enables you to pick, pack, stage and deliver the components based on PM work order slash reservation and leverage handheld RF devices and other warehousing equipment. It provides the ability to combine all components of a work order into a package slash kit and manage logistics operations by package and makes it possible to track and trace PM order components including the returns from maintenance back to the warehouse. Thanks a lot for watching. Please comment, like and subscribe. More videos like this coming shortly. See you then.